Hi everybody, it's John with Digital Dispatcher, back again with another video. And today I'm gonna to show you some new devices that I've been testing. These are from a company called Cypher Lab. We've got two devices here. This one is the RS31. This is a smaller, thinner device. It's running Android operating system 7.0. Um, and you can see the difference with these devices is that they actually have barcode scanners laser scanners built into the top of them. But there's a lot of other neat features that make these devices great for being out in the field. And I'll go over a couple of them with you. Um, I'll start with the RS31. Um, it is a bit more rugged than your traditional uh, Samsung or LG device that you would get from your wireless provider. It, it has two uh, buttons to activate the, uh, the barcode scanner up top. The, the volume button and power button are kind of where you would expect them. What's, what I like about charging these devices is it's got a cradle type charger, so there's nothing that's actually getting plugged in to, um, to break off or you know things like that where you're constantly plugging and unplugging them. So that's a really nice feature. It does, however, have the spot for a micro USB that can be entered in here to charge if you're in a pinch and don't have the um, specific Cypher Lab charger. The um, RS50 here, this device is a lot um, thicker. It feels a lot more rugged and sturdy. Uh, this one actually has a dual barcode scanner engine, a dual engine built in. So it actually can scan 1D and 2D barcodes like QR codes. This one only has one button on the side for initiating that barcode scan. It has the same buttons that you'd like to see as well as the charger here on the bottom. Um, this one has the, um, the the little strap on the back for you to slide your hand in. I really like that for um, you know when you're out of the truck, pulling, moving around, pulling the hose. This thing stays with you right here in your hand. And, and, it's, and it's kind of the perfect form fit where you can tap the button here for your barcode scanning, still access the volume up and down key. Um, which makes it perfect for using digital dispatcher uh, and for fleet fueling. But um, a couple other things about these devices, when you activate them, both the RS50 and RS31 can be activated for, like a, like a cell phone, for voice, text, and data from T-Mobile and AT&T. The RS50, however, can be activated data only with Verizon. So you do have some different options there to get these activated. This one's actually activated with Verizon right now. So what I'm going to do is give you a demonstration of using this Cypher Lab RS50 and doing a fleet fuel del fleet fueling delivery with a LCR2 register, as well as um, show you how to use the barcode scanner to scan these devices and, and how a delivery would look like. So you can see on the left side of your screen, that's mirroring the same uh, image, the same screen here that's on uh, this RS50 device. So I'll go ahead and get into the delivery. Driver would tap route, and there is his stop for today, John's Construction Company. Tap that customer, and at this point, the driver can hit map and get turn-by-turn -turn directions to his customer. If he hits the email button, he can send a text or an email to the customer. That's just a generic message that sends automatically that would say something like, hi, this is the driver from John's Oil Company. You're my next stop. I'll be arriving shortly. But what we'll do is we'll hit deliver and we'll check the register status, make sure we're not already in the process of a delivery. Then you scroll down and hit load register. And load register actually sends over uh, information to the register, like if there's a preset of 200 gallons or whatever it might be. We also um, set up the calibration, whether it's uh, gasoline, kerosene, diesel, you know, you've got four compartments set up in an LCR and we print the header there. So now you get a little message that says, go ahead and flip the register into the run position. So that's what we'll do. We hit okay. And then at this point you scroll down and you hit fleet and we'll connect to the register make sure that we're starting at zero gallons and we'll go ahead and enter into fleet mode so you'll see a fleet mode pop up here on the screen there you go so we'll go ahead and walk up to the first asset you scan it 
There's the barcode number. Okay, then you tap volume up on the phone and it, it uh, verifies what that asset's called. That's the cat backhoe, so we know we're good. So we'll go ahead and throw some gallons in there. Then we'll tap volume up again on the phone. We'll connect to the register and it'll pull in those gallons. So you can see there it's 5.6 gallons. There you go, 5.6 gallons. And your running total is 5.6. We filled one asset. So let's go ahead and move to the next one. Tap volume up again. That references the customer and says, okay, that's the cat dump truck. We'll come over here, throw some more gallons in. We'll tap uh, volume up. And then at this point, you'd be done with that asset. You're pulling the hose over to the next one, the bulldozer, and uh, you're connecting to the truck. You're pulling in those gallons. So there we go. That last one took 12.2 gallons. Our running total 7.8. We filled two assets. So let's go do one more. Volume up. There's the cat dozer. We'll throw some gallons in here. Tap volume up again. Reading the register, we're going to pull those gallons in. So let's review the screen here quick. We've done three assets. The total on the register is 21.2 gallons. That last one we did, the cat dozer, took 3.4 gallons. And even shows you the one, the vehicle you did before that, the cat dump truck, took 2.2. So now that we're done, we bring the hose back, we roll it up, flip the register to print. The printer prints your meter stamp right from the LCR. Then on the phone, you'll tap the three buttons in the top right corner and hit finish. It says, are you sure that you want to leave fleet operations? You're done filling all the assets. We know we are. We hit yes. Now we'll check the register status and make sure it's in the print position. We cannot add anything else once we finished it, unless we start a new ticket. And then at this point, we will hit uh, get delivery. This allows the driver to change the price if he wants to. Uh, he can add print notes, so some kind of notes that he can um, print right there on the delivery ticket. But we'll go ahead and hit proceed. And what we're going to do is we'll connect to the register. We'll pull in any um, gallons delivered, sale number, date and time of delivery, as well as we're going to send all that information back to the printer. So we're going to print a detailed invoice with the price per gallon, gallons delivered, um, taxes, ad charges, discounts, anything like that. And then we'll go ahead and print the fleet detail. We're actually going to make a nice little report right there on the printer of how many gallons went into each asset right there in the field. So you can see that printing on the Epson printer. There we go. And that cuts it for you. So. Here is your invoice, customer information, company information, gallons delivered, price per gallon, and your total. The next one is your fleet detail report, so it shows you how many gallons went into each asset with your total there. So you can leave both of those with the customer if you'd like. We'll scroll down and hit save. Delivery is done. It sends back to the office. The office knows the delivery was completed and has all of that data immediately in real time. So overall, um, you can see how it works. The um, I really like these Cypher Lab devices. They're, they're very rugged. Um, there's a lot of neat features with them that are designed to have uh, longevity and made to be, um, you know, devices out in the field where, where they're not um, as uh, susceptible to a regular, you know, cell phone. But uh, anyway, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or like to contact me, I'll give you my email address. It's John W J O H N W at digitaldispatcher.com. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.